The Yosu community is filled with degenerates, so it's no surprise that people, particularly women, would go and fulfill that demand if you know what I mean. Yeah! Let me surprise you. A lot of top players like well-known ones are so down bad it's crazy. So let's talk about the rise of e-girls and their impacts on the Yosu community. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Before we get into talking about the down bad top players, I need to make it clear that you shouldn't harass anyone mentioned. I don't have any problems with what these guys do, I just want to share my point of view on this topic. And it's their choice, so yeah, let's go. Top players are down bad. Let me explain. There is a Filipina girl who goes by the name Silly Cat Gifts. She is just your average e-girl that likes to play Osu and Valorant. You know, all the generic ass games that e-daters like to play. <laughs> Anyways, her whole shtick is just looking for an e-boyfriend, which hurts me to say because that's so cringe. Yeah. However, that's okay. Feel free to do whatever you want, but things start to get a little more cringe when you got top players like Lifeline, Shimon, Cloutiful, and others simping over her, offering to coach her on Osu, offering to boost her on Valorant, etc. You know what? Let's see the interactions between her and some of these Osu guys. Of course, we have some ironic joke ones like Killer Paja, a well-known baiter. See, this is funny. Then we got some of the top dogs like Cloutiful sliding in the DMs and engaging in haram acts. Then you got Lifeline trying to wiggle his way in and be Shimon's wingman. Then there is Shimon just being private. So if you ever wonder where he is or what he's doing, he's boosting his ego. Of course all the DM screenshots are gone because this guy made her aware that you could find her Osu profile. And from there, if someone was down bad enough, they would go and DM her on Osu. After this, we can only make the assumption that she became more aware and deleted all the screenshots of her DMs with top players. As now, I can't find them anywhere. But that's another thing. She likes to proudly flaunt that she's talking to a bunch of top players, which starts to show a bit of her ego. She actually has a Discord server and from what I've heard, it's pretty chill. She even watches some of my videos, so, uh, hi, wanna play Val? This is a joke for some of you guys that can't tell, I'm being ironic. Had to clarify because some Osu players are the dumbest fucking people on this planet. Also, there is this screenshot of an OnlyFans creator sending her a DM, and when I saw it, I thought it was fake because there is no shot an OnlyFans creator has the time of day to go to some random chick's page and say this weird shit. So after thinking for a solid 20 seconds, I came to the conclusion that it's probably her manager. But it's still crazy she got recognition from, uh, that part of the industry. Nah, but back to the point, a lot of people join her server to DM her straight away, which is strange. I wouldn't try this. She already has like 10 e-boyfriends. I think if you're going to message her, consider that first. She's also a bit of an instigator. Basically, Grizzly PNG, that son of a bitch, joined her server for some reason, probably to see what the hype is about. And then she shows screenshots of my banger video that you should totally watch. Then he calls me a retard. Cancel this man, he just called me the arsler. She tries to start some shit, and of course Grizzly, the very combative person he is, tries to justify that it's not a scam if it didn't sell and that it was a free $500. Wasn't planning on talking about this, but I guess you can tell what type of person he is now. Bro thought I wouldn't see this shit, and her enabling and instigating is what's questionable. To help me out, why don't you hit that subscribe button? We're trying to hit 10k before the end of the year, and make sure to join my discord. Okay, thanks. Now let's talk about a cosplayer that has recently been gaining more notoriety. That person is Saya-chan. You should have guessed that by now. That's the reason you clicked on this video. For the sake of time, I'll just call her Saya. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Saya is a Viet and German cosplayer who dresses up and posts it onto Twitter, which is perfectly fine. She's just your average weeb and maybe just a little racist. Never mind, maybe a lot racist. I can't find it anymore, it's deleted, but she used to drop the n-word like it's nothing, and she wasn't even coloured in the slightest. At least when I say it, I say it in private. Another joke, by the way, I just wanted to make that clear. Anyways, she is mainly known for her revealing fits, some more than others, but it's safe to say that she is targeting the Osu audience, and maybe bringing up a new era of posting lewd cosplays targeted towards Osu DGens. I swear I don't follow her or like any of her posts, so that was a fucking lie. But because the people I follow reply and like that shit, it's on my timeline, and it's just making me rock salt. As I was saying, might be a slight issue when your average Osu Twitter user is 16 years old, and it's kind of a bad impression if you get what I'm saying. I wouldn't really want to join this blessed community and see titties on my screen. I mean, I would. As I was saying, it leaves a poor impression on a new person trying to see all the fun happening in this community. I was just joking before, by the way, but let's see how long it takes me to get, uh, you know.
and I'm rock solid. This is not much of an issue, and in a way, if we look at this holistically, you can just block them if you don't like it or just straight up ignore it. The reason I bring it up is because people actually complain and have an issue with seeing this on their timeline. Also, my question to Saya is why she doesn't make an OnlyFans or some shit. Like, some of these Osu guys are so down bad that they would actually buy it and she would make a bag off of it. Oh my, and don't get me started on the Osu porn. Yep, that's a thing. In this quick segment, I'm just gonna pretend I'm 18 real quick because I need to do some, uh, research. Also, we are not talking about the community because this is something you actively have to seek out for and people are probably unaware of this. But I remember seeing a strawberry video a while ago about a girl on the hub and because I'm not going to go on there and record footage, I'll just use a couple clips. So in a nutshell, she's getting railed while playing Osu, which is, uh, seems like there is an audience for this looking at the comments. Man, this is why I get bullied by my IRL friends. This girl was probably the most known one. I don't know if there are any others, and I don't think I will look for them. I could go on and on all day about these e-girls or the e-dating side of this community and how it's growing, but looking at it, it's not like there's a huge issue. On the rare occasion, you can find love online, but it's a tad bit cringe. Even from my own experience, I can say the things I've said online to some people have made me cringe so hard, but that's part of the online experience. Even bringing it outside of Osu, e-dating as a whole is cringe as fuck. Wait, let me tell you about something. I was playing Rocket League with my boys in the server, we were briefly talking about the Valorant and Discord collab, and bro, I went to check it out? That shit's $12 on sale, are you kidding me? This avatar decoration is just building FOMO for the Valorant community and it just baits e-daters and people who play the game religiously. As I was saying, that's part of the industry and capitalizing off these people is smart as hell, I can't lie. But the bigger idea at play is that the community is still young and whilst being a teen and being a bit, you know, horny and weird is normal, it's just slightly cringe for these guys to be e-dating unironically, that's, that's my biggest gripe. If they were like fucking around for jokes, yeah sure it's a little less cringe, but at the end of the day, these guys are almost 18, I I'm not gonna say anything, you know what I'm gonna say, these guys are almost 18, um, they are in control, they know what they're doing, and ultimately everyone knows that e-dating is cringe, I don't need to say that a million more times. As for Saya and her cosplays, it is just a tad bit weird that some of these guys are going to be exposed to borderline not safe for work content, I mean it basically is. Again, the solution is just to block or ignore. And I don't have any issues with anything covered in this video. In fact, I do indulge in a- <laughs> Nah, I can't say it. <laughs> Once again, I'm not hating, I was just stating my opinion on why being an e-girl in the OSU community is meta. Mainly because OSU players can't speak to women and are a bunch of pussy- Also, a big thank you to all of my members, I appreciate it a lot. You guys mean the world to me, bro. I appreciate the extra money you guys are paying for my food so I can eat. And a big thanks to Dim and Haxel for spending $8 and giving me some money, you know. Um, thank you, I love you.